All right, we're going to spend the next few minutes talking about bees, not the birds and the bees. Don't worry, just bees. About a third of all crops we grow in the country need insects to pollinate and honeybees are the beekeepers that that beekeepers manage are one of the most common pollinators in the US. The USDA even put a value to their work saying their pollination contributes $15 billion to our economy every year before even accounting for the honey that they produce. But you probably also know bees are pretty delicate. Pesticides, extreme weather, air pollution, parasites have all played a role in dwindling bee populations really everywhere. And knowing that, now there's been a lot of buzz, pun intended, about something the USDA talked about recently, a first of its kind bee vaccine to help bees fight off one type of infection. But does it work? Gordon, you asked those questions, right? Yeah, I did. And you know, this vaccine isn't what you might think. They're not going around with tiny needles and <laughs> injecting bees one at a time. It's basically food that's laced with some dead bacteria that eventually gets fed to the queen. She develops an immunity and then passes it on to all of her eggs and eventually the entire hive. But beekeepers locally say it's not the end all be all cure to this problem. Whenever there's a news story about bees, it gets a lot of buzz online, especially when it involves saving the bees. So when a company announced a new bee vaccine to help, it got a lot of attention. This vaccine helps reduce the amount of disease they have. Dr. Marla Spivak is an entomologist at the Bee Lab at the University of Minnesota. She says the vaccine is designed to protect honeybees from a deadly bacteria called American fowl brood. If a colony gets this disease, it is highly infectious to other bee, honeybee colonies, not to people, not to other bees. And so it's problematic and they either need it to be treated with an antibiotic or killed. The vaccine created by Dalen Animal Health is the first ever bee vaccine approved by the USDA. Spivak says it's an exciting step forward, but it's not exactly a cure for this problem. It didn't completely cure or eliminate it. I'll say the efficacy of this particular vaccine against American fowl brood was you know, only up to 50%. If it were a human vaccine, it wouldn't be good enough. Let's just put it that way. And the disease itself isn't a major problem for local beekeepers. How often do you come across this American fowl brood? I honestly have never seen it. Hey, Travis. Travis Bolton owns Bolton Bees, where they raise around 2,000 hives a year, <laughs> selling the hives themselves and producing around 75,000 pounds of honey. He has seen European fowl brood a few times in his career, and it has been a big problem. But he and Dr. Spivak say this vaccine only works on American fowl brood. Do you foresee yourself possibly using this vaccine with your bees in the future? I would say we probably wouldn't be the first ones to do it. I think that we would probably maybe sit back and just, just see some practical use, some practical data. Dr. Spivak agrees. It's not commercially available yet, and it really has not been field tested at, at a level where I would feel comfortable advocating to any beekeeper to use it yet. And overall, she says American fowl brood is a drop in the bucket compared to the other problems that honeybees are dealing with. Honeybees' major problem are varroa mites. It's a parasitic mite that sucks on their tissues and somewhat of their blood. And when they do that, they can transmit viruses. Also the environment, dwindling food supply, pesticides, herbicides. Dr. Spivak says the problems are almost endless. But seeing this new vaccine gives her hope that more companies are focused on this issue of saving the bees. And the research behind this vaccine could be used to create even more vaccines and treatments down the road. I think it's definitely a stepping stone. Whether it's a huge stepping stone is to be determined. According to Dalen Animal Health's website, they have other vaccines and treatments already in the pipeline, including a vaccine for that European fowl brood. So this new vaccine could just be the beginning, the first of many in the coming years. The company says this vaccine should hit the market later this year. Every time you say American fowl brood, I think that we should start a new soccer team. <laughs> that sounds a lot like a soccer team. Right, right, and then there's European fowl brood, and so it could really be, you know, some good football.
Yeah, and from what I was hearing from these beekeepers, you know, this is something that, um, you know, can just be detrimental. Um, if they do find this American fowl brood, they basically have to burn the entire hive and some of their equipment, any other equipment that goes near it. So it's rare, but when it does happen, it's a very big deal. It's a, it's a fowl brood indeed. Thank you so much, Gordon.